Archaeoastronomy is the astronomy at the basis of archaeological sites, of ancient sites, like temples. Mm -hmm. Temples in ancient times were mm -hmm. aligned in the cardinal directions, you know, north, south, east, or west, because east is where the sun rises. So often the door or the entrance to the temple was to the east. Now, these directions have changed because the earth keeps on precessing and it has a period of about 24,000 years. So every 2,000 years, it shifts, this, shifts through one zodiacal sign, or every 1,000 years, it shifts through one nakshatra, since there are 27 nakshatras. So you can look at uh, ancient structures and mm -hmm. see the exact uh, directionality of it and try to figure out as to what it might have meant for mm -hmm the period when it was built. And sometimes there is some um, deviation from that, which has to do some with some astrological factors associated with the king who mm. paid for the building of the temple. And, and so a lot of history can be extracted. And in India, especially, uh, there was also uh, the factor that the very uh, plan of the temple was as uh, mirroring the entire cosmos. So the, um, the distance from the front gate to the mm -hmm. Garbhagriha was taken to be uh, equal to 108 units, which mm -hmm. uh, is something that you already mentioned. Thanks. And the perimeter of the temple was taken to be 360. And mm -hmm. 360 is, of course, a very cardinal number. This is the number of days in the year. Mm -hmm. So there was this as well. And then there were other numbers associated with astronomy, which were at the basis of, uh, of the details. Mm 